Welcome to our review on cardiovascular disease. So cardiovascular disease, or CVD for short, is just a description of a disease of either the heart or the blood vessels, or if you're really unlucky, both. One of these types of cardiovascular disease is a condition called atherosclerosis, which quite simply is where the arteries have become narrowed and hardened as a result of the deposits of fats within their walls. So if you look at the bottom left first of all, we can see the far left hand side, that's a normal artery. The blood's able to flow through, it can expand and contract as it does so, that's your healthy blood flow. As we get the deposits of the fat, the yellow stuff in the walls, what you can see is it starts to restrict that blood flow. So it gets narrower and narrower until eventually we could end up in a situation where it blocks that artery. Now, to give you an idea of what it looks like in reality, on the right, that would be a picture of an artery that has been hardened and narrowed as a result of the fatty deposits. So that's an artery clearly showing atherosclerosis. Another potential cause of cardiovascular disease is as the result of a blood clot or a thrombosis. So if we have this blood clot occurring in one of our coronary arteries, which are the arteries that take the blood and back to the heart to supply it with oxygen and glucose, then that can lead to a heart attack. If that blood clot was to occur in an artery that supplies the brain, then it causes a stroke. So depending on where the thrombosis occurs in the body, that will determine the actual end result of it. There are certain lifestyle risk factors that increase your risk of suffering from cardiovascular disease. The first one of these is about the salt that you have in your diet. If you take in too much salt in your diet, then as a result of the increased salt concentration within your blood, what we find is more water is absorbed back into the blood after that filtration process in the kidney. So when we've got extra water in the blood, that means there's a higher volume and therefore it causes higher blood pressure. The second risk factor we've got is having a diet that's high in saturated fats. If you eat too many saturated fats, then we end up with deposits of cholesterol in the artery walls. So as a result of that, the blood vessels are narrowed and that's going to restrict the blood flow and also increase the blood pressure. So to give you an idea of what it looks like, on the left, you have a healthy artery with no restrictions. On the right, you can see how it's down to almost half the actual size because at the bottom there, we have this deposit of cholesterol. Now, the types of things that you would typically eat to have this high saturated fat diet are things like large amounts of butter or having a very large quantity of red meat in your diet. So it's good to keep those in moderation. There is one key lifestyle change that we can make to reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease, which is ensuring we take regular exercise. When you actually take regular exercise, then first of all, you've got a lower body mass because what we find is less of the food that you're consuming is going to end up getting stored as fat because you're using the energy coming from your food. So the lower your body mass, the lower your risk of CVD and also of diabetes. If you've obviously got lower body mass, you will have healthier joints and you've got a lower risk of arthritis as well, which is always good news. If you've got greater muscle tissue, because obviously remember your heart is a muscle. So the more you exercise, the more you're going to build your muscle tissue and therefore you will improve its actual functionality. And you will also lower your cholesterol levels in the blood, which means less chance of the cholesterol depositing in your arteries. Hopefully at the end of this video, you can state what is meant by cardiovascular disease. You can state some lifestyle factors that increase your risk of heart disease, and you can describe the link between lifestyle factors and the risk of non-communicable diseases.